Fox Vandy here. Why am I doing the videos inside the truck? It's too hot outside. So I have to be inside. It's been really hot in the last few months. Really hot. I spend most of my time inside the truck. I can't breathe when I go outside. It's so hot. Unless I go out early in the morning for about a half an hour or an hour, I don't do much outside. In the evening, it's still hot till 11 or 12 o'clock at night. So, and dark. So, my eyes, I can't see at night. So, I do most of my videos these days in the summer inside the truck, unless I'm out camping somewhere where it's cooler. A lot of people do their videos from behind their steering wheel, so I guess this is not so bad, except I know you get tired of looking at it. I sure do. <laughs> so why have, it, have I decided to get a travel trailer to live in here in my home base instead of my box truck? I need room. It's getting harder and harder to stay everything you own in a little tiny square box. It's, it's so small. And I really just, at this point, I'm ready to have a real toilet and a shower inside my rig. <laughs> Instead of bucket baths or going to the shower room. I need a space where I can actually move around and set up a desk and sit at a table to eat. I cook at a real kitchen counter. It sounds kind of ungrateful. I'm not ungrateful. I'm very grateful. I could have been a lot worse, and I was. So I love my box truck, but I'm ready to, for a change. And I would love to have, when I get a travel trailer, then I could sell this box truck which is, I'll tell you all the reasons I would, would want to sell it, and then get a smaller van in exchange for it. So I've been saving up money. I'm trying to save anywhere from three to $500 a month out of my YouTube money. And then eventually I'll have enough to get three, $4,000 travel trailer. And I hope I can get it for that price. Everything I look at is at least eight, nine, ten thousand dollars, even up to twenty-three, something like that. I cannot go into debt. I will not buy anything on payments, so I have to pay cash. So I have to save up the money. I'm working on it. So, so if I can get a travel trailer, then I can sell this box truck and take the money from it and buy a smaller van that I can actually drive. Here's a reason I feel like I need to sell this truck. It's been great to me. It's running like a top, it still is. It's a diesel, diesel gas fuel is at least a dollar a gallon more than regular gas. When I first bought it, diesel was a dollar cheaper. And I usually get pretty good gas mileage. It's a Chevy Express 3500 one ton diesel with a 6.3 turbo charged uh, engine or whatever. Um, the air conditioner does not work in here. I have a little window of air conditioner in the back of the truck, but the air conditioner for driving doesn't work. The seat is not adjustable. I can't raise it up or raise it down. I can't move it forward or backward. So, I'm sitting too high in this seat. I'm sitting too far back. When I put a pillow behind my back, it's pretty uncomfortable and it slips around. I still have a lot of health problems, which people really can't see. Invisible disabilities are so hard to recognize by people. I have neuropathy, fibromyalgia, deteriorating discs in my neck and my lower back still had the after effects from the broken back. I have numbness in this arm all the time. And I have bad sciatica when I drive. When I have to stretch my legs and 
sit that uncomfortably, my leg goes numb. Um, my eyes are not that great, and in the truck, I really can't see around anything on the sides. I, even with my backup camera, my eyes are bad enough that on that little tiny screen, I really can't see what's behind me. I had a, a police car pull me over one day because I couldn't see him. He had his lights on. <laughs> I never even saw him till he pulled up alongside of me and told me to pull over because my backup camera wasn't working right. So it's, there's a lot of reasons. First of all, my health. And secondly, this truck is just too big for me to drive. And it's a wonderful truck. It runs great. It's been very good to me, but the space in here is getting a little bit tight. Everything I own is in this little 6x10 box, including my bed, my kitchen, my toilet, <laughs> my dog stuff, all those things I have to store. It's getting hard to live like that. As I get older, it's harder and harder to get into things when I have to climb in the cab to crawl under the bed to get things out of from under there and things like that. It's not easy and when your health is not great. I did get a really good set of steps to get in and out and I have a great door now. So those things are perfect, but I really need a bigger space. I would love to have finally, after all these years, would love to have a real shower and a real toilet and a real kitchen and a place to sit and relax instead of sitting in this hardback chair with the cushion always slipping around. <laughs> uh, I don't mean to be selfish, selfish or self-centered or ungrateful. I just, at this point, I think it's time. So I'm working on finding a travel trailer between 20 to 30 feet with no slide outs. It has to be sound, it has to have no leaks, and no dry rot, no moisture damage. The plumbing and electrical has to work and the refrigerator has to be a decent sized refriger refrigerator that actually works. I'm not asking much, am I? <laughs> so I can't afford to pay more than three or $4,000. I have to save the money. I'm not there yet, but I'm getting there. So. I'm saving between three to $500 a month towards that. And the gifts I get and the YouTube income is what I'm using to save the money for that. I still will have to have an emergency fund, so I can't completely spend every dime that I save to buy a trailer. So three to $4,000 is about all I can afford. Everything I see out there is costing $10,000, $9,000, $15,000 for decent ones. I want an old trailer. I don't have to have a fancy one that, that I have to have the tires not rotted out so I can at least pull it from where I buy to here. <laughs> so everybody tells me, oh, you should be able to get that really cheap in Quartzsite. Not so. They're not that cheap. And even if I found one, by the time I found it, it would be gone. I don't, I mean, hopefully I could. I'll keep looking. But there's a lot of scammers out there, especially right now. I got a, a situation the other day. My friend that lives near, near me told me she found a Forest River travel trailer on Facebook. She showed me the pictures of it on her phone. I don't have Facebook, so I couldn't go to it. But she showed me the pictures, and it looked fantastic. It's, it was beautiful. It's great. Yeah. <laughs> really nice refrigerator, a decent kitchen, and it was like about 30 feet. It was perfect. It's exactly what I wanted. However, I said, well... Can you find out who I can contact about this? 
So she messaged this person on Facebook and they sent a phone number I could call. So I called him. He sounded like a really nice guy. However, the first thing I asked him is, does it have paperwork? He said, well, he said, you would get a bill of sale if you bought it. And I said, look, I would give you the cash today on that if you had paperwork. He had listed for a thousand bucks. Wow. He said, well, you know, it's not mine. It belongs to a friend. I, I have a friend in California that owns it. And he would tell you the same thing. He would have to write you a bill of sale. I said, do you have anything that shows who owns it? No. I said, well, how would it get registered? He said, well, you probably couldn't register it, but you could move it and into a park and just leave it parked. I told him, I said, the county's already looking for registration on my box truck for proof of ownership registration. I said, I couldn't do something without proof of ownership, not just a bill of sale. So anyhow, it was a scam. It was, I had no doubt it was a scam. I knew it before I even called, but I thought, I'll check it out. First thing I'll ask is what paperwork does it come with? And if he doesn't have any paperwork, I know it's just a scam. It could be stolen for all I know. I could go out and find an empty trailer with nobody living in it, break the lock, open it up, take pictures, put it up for sale on some kind of an ad, and then have somebody agree to give me cash and just fill out a piece of paper and sign it. That's a scam. <clears throat> no way. So anyhow, that was... That's not going to happen. So, I'm still looking, of course, and it's going to take a while. Everybody tells me they're easy to find. Well, uh, if they're that easy and you find one for me, let me know about it. Just email me. Give me the information and how I can contact those people. Because, like I said, between three to four thousand dollars I can't uh, take a loan out. So that's kind of where I'm at. I will eventually be able to get one. So I'm looking forward to your comments. I would appreciate it, helpful comments, not just saying it should be easy to find or I see them all the time or blah, blah, blah. I want to be able to respond to your comments, but it needs to be helpful or kind or something. So thank you for watching. I appreciate you. Thank you for supporting my channel. The comments does help my channel. The likes and subscribers do help my channel. So thank you.